All right, this is a short screencast to show you um, the math CD enrichment section one. So here's the picture. Click on it. And when you go in there, there's only one folder currently set up. Um, and I'll show you some of the other functions of this, but this is called the TP Dilemma. And the idea is that students can go through these different acts um, to solve problems. So as they go through, they have different questions and videos and things. For example, this video that kind of sets sets the, sets the agenda for them. And then they have a Padlet, which is attached to this, where they can share some of their ideas. And um, the teacher in the classroom can actually moderate this in real time. Going back, you go to Act 1 Continued. Now we have a discussion board where they're making predictions uh, before solving problems. Um, so they have to kind of make comments and then respond to each other. And this is sort of where we're challenging each other and collaborating and refining our thoughts, which is a very important thing for uh, students to be able to do. Act 2. The other thing about the discussion board that I want to bring up is that you're going to have to continuously, they're going to have to continuously come back to it because this will be something that they'll hit at different times. Um, they won't all do this, obviously, in a linear fashion. Fact, um, in a linear way because discussion boards are continuously um, added to, so they'll have to come back to that repeatedly. Act two then um, takes them through a PowerPoint with a today's meet where they can write um, what they're thinking as far as what the PowerPoint suggests and there's questions that kind of go along with that on here. Act three then has them do their graphic organizer on paper and pencil, take a picture of it, and then submit it. So you actually submit things over here on this side, um, and students can be shown how to do that even through a screencast. So what ends up happening with um, these digital platforms is that the teacher doesn't necessarily need to deliver that sort of con that sort of instruction. They can actually put that in here. It could be like an embedded screencast right here that says how to submit work uh, via um, taking pictures or so forth. Act three continued. Let's watch the video to see the solution of how they came up with the answers. <clears throat> and then you have a reflection. So the reflection part talks about, um, did you su successfully complete the, solve the problem? Um, and then you see the questions there. <coughs> I'll keep on doing that. All right. Um, the last part is an extension activity where the students can then Will, will then be asked two other questions that they need to solve. And there could actually be a part to this where they would actually submit their work as well, and they could go into Drive. And these questions could be on Google Form and or Google um, Doc and Drive, and then they actually submit them through here. The final part, which I think is really exciting too, for something which, you know, this is, a, this is a, an OER or a learning platform. It really is an, it's an, an ecosystem um, of learning is basically what I've been calling it. Um, and what's exciting here is when you click on Mrs. Hoban, it takes you to an appear in virtual hangout um, where if she was having, and you see me there, if she was having office hours, she would appear here and she can actually answer questions virtually, whether the kids were in a different classroom or multiple classrooms or across the world, globally, at home, homework, whatever, however you want to do it. And that's kind of the idea is that, that the teacher is available for them um, in that sort of capacity. <coughs> so those are the highlights, and that's why I think things like OERs and learning platforms are exciting. Um, the other part to this is, as you can see, if I go to members here of this particular class, um, everybody on this list here, um, from Rosie all the way down to me, is an admin, and we can all add to this course. We can all take things away, we can all add things, and we can all make it better together. Um, and that's really, I think, the power in it.